Okay, this is the one we're going for. The white and silver ESL shrimp. Right, it's perfect in the water. It looks like a million bucks in the water, I can assure, and it works. Tried these as well. So uh, the hook I'm gonna start with was the uh, was the light stinger in size six, almost as always. And I'm gonna use use a white thread. Uh, and I'm gonna start by making some mouth parts with some really nice um, partridge. Like this and then tie in down here. There you go, that's the best. And with that secured, secured, I'm gonna use the um, some semi seal. Easier now, and this is the one I was referring to the UV Coastal Chartreuse Yellow. I don't think it's very yellow though, it's quite green in my opinion. Um, as it has a lot of uh, fluorescent effect going on, and uh, yeah, it's really nice. And I'm gonna dab, dab this, dab it, and rub it. There you go. I form a material back here. Say that would be enough. All right. And I'm going to take my brush and just. some of this out the brush like that there we go then I'm gonna take the dubbing I'm gonna use the most which is which is this one the white white and silver uh, seal like this one to be honest, it's really nice. I'm gonna form a similar a similar amount of dubbing right in front of the in front of the green here. that and I'm gonna comb that out as well all the way around so we form a little, little tail of mouth part whatever it is And then we're already at the legs, and those were the clear, uh, clear ones here from EC Frimplex 2.0, and um, here they are. I cheated a bit, painted them already with a um, black marker, and just gotta get rid of, rid of this uh, thingy. Place the eyes right. In front of the white silver tubbing. It's a bit too fast. And 
and that when it's secured like this I'm just gonna take it take and make sure they are straight like the way you want them I'm gonna take uh, two wraps around the last set of legs here very gently I'm not gonna put too much strain up there on the on the thread because if I do that they're gonna go to the side just to get them down a bit I'll secure later with some person let me get to see if it's how it looks it looks perfect then it's time for the super fluorescent kryptonite green eyes from easy shrimp eyes and these are the ex extra small ones and i'm gonna place this on top of the of the legs so the joints uh, so the joints of this second set, second set of legs is right in front of the it's right at the kryptonite eyes kryptonite eyes kryptonite eyes maybe a little back half secure this I'm just gonna take some um, some uh, Uri recent this is the great time of course just to to help secure it a bit but uh, yeah I don't think it's necessary but let's do it anyway might as well Make it you will fly just over over the legs and the eyes. Just give it a bit of a zap. With that done, it's time for for super here. I got a really white, a nice white one here. I don't want the the the, the, in, the end to be. Uh, same length, so I'm just gonna pull, pull a bit to taper it a bit. I'm gonna put this in between the eyes and no longer than the last set of legs right here. As, as a like sort of antennas. I wanna make sure they stay on top of the hook. I'm gonna use the rest of the material to shape the, the rest of the fly and up here towards the end I'm just gonna give you, make a and then it's time for the the other one or little green one or any any fiber you got um, for antennas I don't know you could leave this out to be honest if you want to, want to uh, Matter much, I think. I think I don't know. Some say they they uh, have something to do with the balance in the water or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I believe it, but yeah, whatever makes your day. Place those on top, and you have to make them, of course, longer than the other than the white ones. Then it is time for for some more of your semi seal and a, a bunch here, and you wanna you wanna straighten the fibers by pulling and laying on top, pulling and laying on top, so we straighten the fibers. See, and then I'm gonna take a bunch.
took place here. Like that. Could just the little thumb right in here, just spread it out a bit. And I'm again gonna use some of the of this seam seal that I got left to don't shape it. Let's shape some nylon thread. It has to be nylon because we are gonna um, we are gonna use this for a For, for the rib uh, on the shrimps, shrimps shell and, and I apply the Yuri resin uh, it's gonna, gonna disappear, disappear this uh, nylon thread hmm. I'm gonna take some more of my white silver dubbing It's uh, this uh, set of legs, the back, the one in the back. Really being careful because if you're not there, then I'm just gonna go forward again. Well, it's not easy. I could have just shaved it from up here to be honest and not going back and forth like, like, like I'm doing now. Okay. I'm gonna end around here in the front. There we go. Then I'm gonna take a this is swim chill from Pro Sports Fisher and this is the it's a truce one in medium size. It fits a size six hook. And the one I showed you, the the fly, where I put it, uh, was with a with a, with a clear sh uh, shell. But I'm all out for so I'm gonna use it's a truce one. But I think that that's gonna work as well. So I'm gonna place that one on top. You have to be a bit careful here because when you put tension on the on your swim shell, it's gonna go to the sides if you're not careful. Or even further back. So take your time here. I got just didn't do. Looks a bit crazy now, but we'll sort it. You see, it's starting to look like a weird swim from outer space in green, white and green. Maybe it's good for for winter fishing. Who knows? Yep. I'm trying not to get all the fibers up on top of the shrimp shell and making sure it's straight. Looks, the, looks nice with the uh, true uh, shrimp shell. To be honest. The clear one is nice as well, but uh, yeah, it's completely different. Yep, yeah, before I apply the UV resin, I'm just gonna flip it. And uh, it's better to do this now, to be honest. Um, let's give it a good rub. Back to get 
bit of the... I'm just gonna kinda fuck up the resin in just a second. There you go. And I'm gonna use the flexible reed sap now. Reed sap flex your resin. Um, just start from the top. Take it one uh, one go here. Getting the resin all the way up to the edges, edges of the of this fringe shell in an even layer. There you have a super white and green um, little shrimp that's gonna ride perfectly and the pattern is perfect part of it, about it is also that it's easy to change the colors and the eyes and the, use whatever dubbing you like. I was just in a white and green mood the other day so that ended up in this one. I hope you enjoyed the movie. We'll uh, give it a like and maybe even subscribe for more content. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.